Hey guys, TSL here, back with a brand new how to make a game like Super Power Training Simulator video. In today's video, I will be showing you how to make the Energy Fist slash Energy Punch power up using ray casting. Now yes, I know I have called the different power up the Energy Punch, but that is actually called the Energy Blast, so I changed the name of the video too, so we don't get confused. Um, and we will also be making it so that we can walk on water. Don't mind this UI right there. That's going to come on later in the video. So, that being said, guys, enjoyed the video. It starts now. Alright, guys, so we are going to get started with the Energy Fist power up now. So what we're going to need to do is inside of replicated storage, we're going to need to have a remote event and we're going to call this remote event energy fist for the energy fist power up. So I'm going to rename this to energy fist and then in server script service, you're going to want to have a server script. So a regular script and we can call this the script um, power events script and then we'll do local debris we're going to need our debris service is equal to game colon get service debris and our local rep storage is equal to game colon get service replicated storage we'll do local function energy this um, and this will take the player in the array then we'll do our local character is equal to player dot character our local midpoint so we're gonna need a midpoint because we're gonna need to place the part in the midpoint and then scale it um, so we need to put the part in the middle because then when we scale it, it scales on both sides. So then the middle, and it'll be the right, the right thing. Um, so the midpoint is equal to the ray's origin, origin, um, plus the ray's direction. And divided by 2. So um, I guess before we do this, we should actually make the ray. But um, actually we won't. We won't do that. Let me just explain this. So the ray, when you'll see when we make the ray, the ray has an origin. So this is where it starts, and the direction is where the ray is going. So the ray origin plus the ray direction. Everybody knows that should be the end point. So then divide it by two, and we get the middle. Um, so then we want to make a local ray start, and that's equal to the ray dot origin, which I said is the ray starting point. All right. So now what we're going to want to do, oh, up here we'll make a local new part uh, function, a local function, new part, and the parameters this is going to take is name. I don't know why I put that in a string. Name and um, name and parent, I guess. And we'll do local part is equal to instance.new part, comma parent. We'll do part dot anchored is equal to true. Part dot can collide is equal to false. Um, we'll do part dot name is equal to name part dot uh, C frame. So we're going to need some more stuff here too. So the C frame, we're going to need the mid point and the uh, start, I think. Yes, this start. So start. And then the part dot C frame is equal to C frame dot new midpoint comma start um, we'll do part dot size is equal to vector three dot new one comma one and then the ray so we're gonna actually need the ray too 
the ray itself. So ray dot direction dot magnitude. This will give us the length that we need our ray to be. Um, and then we just want to set the part transparency equal to 0 0.5 and the part dot material equal to enum dot material dot smooth plastic and we'll do part dot color is equal to color 3 dot from RGB and we'll do 40 comma 171 comma 22 um, and I think that should be it. So then we'll just do debris, colon, add item. Or actually what we'll do is we'll return the part. All right, so then over here we'll do local part is equal to new part of the name um, energy, uh, player dot name dot the energy fist and there we go so that's the name then we'll do the parent we'll do game dot workspace we'll do the midpoint is equal to midpoint the start is equal to ray start and the ray is equal to ray so this should be all our parameters and this part variable should have access to that and now all we also want to do is do the breeze colon add item part comma one. So this will destroy the part after one second. Um, and that should be good. So then we'll do rep storage, rep storage dot, um, what was it called? Energy fist dot on server event colon connect function and we want to connect the energy fist or we don't want to do colon connect function we just want to do colon connect energy fist and without the bra brackets because we don't want to invoke slash call it all right so this is it for the event script so we can close server script service and replicate storage now we want to go into starter player starter player scripts and powers local script so the first thing we're going to want to do is add a ener local energy fist function so we'll do local function local function energy fist and we want to get the character alright so now this is the function that we're actually going to create the ray in so now you'll see what I was talking about before so we'll do the local origin is equal to the character dot right hand dot position so the so where the ray is going to start is going to be the character's hand um we'll do the direction local direction is equal to mouse dot hit dot position multiplied by 10 so i think uh, I don't remember if you guys had this local mouse variable up here, but if not, then local mouse is equal to player colon good mouse and local player is equal to game dot players dot local player. So then this will give us the mouse's position. We want to multiply that, that by 10 so that it goes out 10 studs or something like that. All right, so then we'll do the local ray. The actual ray is going to be equal to ray dot new. And this is just going to take the origin and the direction. So I also want to make a local rep storage, or we'll just do local rs is equal to game colon get service replicate storage, and we'll do rs dot energy fist, or actually not yet, we'll do our local, um, actually not yet, we're going to do that, we'll do rs dot energy, energy fist dot um, not dot, but colon fire server, and we want to fire the, um, just the ray. We just want to pass the ray. So then we'll do our local hit comma pause is equal to game dot workspace, uh, colon find part on ray with ignore, 
ignore list and the array is going to be array and then the ignore list is going to be the character colon get children so all the parts inside of the character we want to ignore all right so this is basically like i was saying it's going to return to us whatever the array hit as long as it's not part of the character because that's what this ignore list thing is for so if it hits something then this hit variable will be that so we'll do if hit then we'll do rs dot I think it was take damage or something like that dot take damage or not yeah dot take damage damage colon fire server and then um if we go into service group service we'll do or actually, no, we don't even need to go here. I just, I remembered what we need to do. We just need to um, take damage from fire servers, game colon get service players uh, colon get player from character. Hit dot parent. And that will be the hit by or yeah so that's actually all we need to pass I just remembered so um again we get server hit dot parent what we can actually do is cut this we'll do local hit or local um, hit player is equal to this and we'll do if hit player then we'll do this and hit player um Let's just let's just go on service script service and our take damage script and it's just so this and this. So this is the hit player that we're passing, but we shouldn't be passing that. We should just be passing the ah player so hit by we'll change this to hit by this this and then not hit that parent but we want it to be um character all right let's try that so now what we'll, we're gonna have to do is down here we add this if statement if key is equal to f if it is then we want to do local local char is equal to player dot character also we want to add this local debounce variable local deb is equal to false We'll do um, if not deb, then we'll do energy fist char, and we'll do deb is equal to true. We'll do else deb is equal to false. But before that, we want to wait three seconds. All right, so now this should hopefully work. So let's save this and let's play this. So if I hit F, it it did shoot. It's shooting in the completely wrong direction. Um. Wait. Oh, because I don't I don't know why we did this. We did mouse dot hit that position times ten. We want to do mouse dot hit that look vector times ten because we want to get the direction of the mouse, so like where, so that it goes to our mouse. All right, so just a simple mistake on my part. And then F, and it shoots correctly. All right, and that's it. So as you saw, it works. All right guys, so that was it for the energy fist or energy punch power up. And now we're gonna make the walk around water. So first thing, I don't even have any water here, so let's add some. So over here, I'm just going to insert a part. Where is the part? 
right here. And just put it right here and I'm just going to scale it down. Down and then this way, that way, and this way. Make it a little under like that. And that should be good. And um, this is the way that I know to make water at least easily. Go to the plugins and you use the part to terrain plugin. You might have to download it. Um, I don't remember. Um, it's this right here. And then basically click on water and then click the part. And now we have water. So then to make the walk on water, I mean, all you have to do is just right here, just put a part that goes, um, just, just goes right over the water, and just scale it this way, and just scale it completely over the water, so that, like, wait, all we're gonna have to do is just change the can collide property of it in, like, a script, or, like, something, like, we'll have a settings thing, and it will will have like enable or something like that. So uh, we'll just set anchor to true and can collide to true and make the transparency one. And then basically that's it. And so then what you'll want to do is like just I guess we'll just make a simple little button since we don't have a we don't have a, an actual uh, settings place yet. But we will make that in the future. So let's just have a little button right now. And we'll just uh, just put it over here. And we'll make the size like 0 0.1 comma 0 comma 0 0.1 comma 0. Or 0 0.1 comma 0 like that. I'm not going to really style the button. We'll do toggle slash untoggle. Uh, walk on water and put text scale to true and font to source of sans bold and I guess we can make the background color blue like that and the text color 255 comma 255 comma 255 which is white and then I guess we could do that too all right, so now in this button local script, what we're gonna want to do is script dot parent dot mouse button one. Well, I don't even know what I just typed. Dot mouse button one click colon connect function, and we'll do game dot workspace. So let's go back into the workspace. Click on this part, and um, we'll have a we'll make it called like water cover make sure that you have this one part covering the whole thing like all the water in your world or you'll if you have different parts then name them differently and you'll have to set the can collide of that too so do game that workspace dot water cover dot can collide is equal to not game dot workspace dot water cover dot can collide all right so that will set it to the opposite so that we can toggle and untoggle it. Alright, uh, agility, just get this. And there. Let's try to walk over there. It's a lot easier now that we have extra speed gain, but still, still pretty slow. Alright, so over here is our water. And if we step on it, then we're walking on it. I guess technically we're walking on it, but we're actually walking on the part. And um, if we click untoggle, then we fall into the water and we can now swim. And we can also swim out of the world. All right, guys. Well, that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed the video and helped you out, please remember to leave a like and subscribe. Um, we are trying to hit 1,000 subscribers by mid-September, so please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and get us closer to that goal. So, leave a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on the next video in the series, or any other videos for that matter. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye.